Alright guys, Gromit on a Comet. I'm gonna go down and get some fuel. I'm gonna go down and get some fuel. Right into the next couple of towns up. Uh, about 30 k's. Now I go see one of my mates. He's just picked up a Gemini for a paddock basher. So I'm gonna go have a look at that. Holden Gemini. This is Australia, so we have Holdens. And yes, the fuel station's still open, thank fuck. Because you know, like in country, in the country, um, our, our servo's closed. City slickers. Yeah, the ones that city normally don't. Uh, let's get some of this premium 98 octane petroleum. Yeah, so the difference between driving in the city versus driving in the country. And I'm also not going about living in the in the country versus the city as well. Oh, I've kind of boxed myself in here. Hey, gone. Not too bad. Uh, just the twenty bucks premium. Oh, Thanks for that. All good. Catch you later. Here's my bike, by the way. A bit dirty at the moment. It's a GSX F650 Suzuki. Basically, like a touring version of a 600. G6 R 600, same dash, I'm pretty sure. Slight variation because the um, G6 R's have a mode control. That guy's watching me, he's probably like, what the fuck is that kid doing? He's on drugs, he's talking to himself. Oh, the person that got 91 last beat me. They got it directly on 50 bucks. Yeah, I have a silencer in my exhaust at the moment, so it's not awfully loud. When you're pinging off 10 grand, it's pretty loud, but like, on average, it's not really that loud. Alright, let's, I'm not quite sure if you can even hear the bike, but uh, let's see it with the silencer in. Riding in the country and riding in the city. Well, obviously, there, there's obviously main, main factors. There's not as, anywhere near as many cars. There's not as many side streets. Um, that being said, in the country there are a lot of hidden side streets. You can't actually see, like, dirt roads and, uh, you know, ones that just come out from behind trees and that kind of stuff. So. It can be quite hard to, you know, see where people are coming out of. Um, but um, in the city, your eyes are always on the move. Like they're always like, I'm sorry, this is so dark tonight, guys. I'm, I'm just testing my helmet out. But I'm um, like, you have to look all the time. You're looking at your mirrors. You're looking fucking everywhere. Um, you know, but in, in this in the country, it's so much more relaxed. Like. Obviously you still have to like look down side streets and um, look that kind of stuff, but you don't have to do it anywhere near as much. You don't have to worry about, you know, fucking somebody just randomly cutting out in front of you, coming out of a petrol station or something. Like, obviously it, there is still that risk there when you're riding full stop, going through country towns or city roads, but in the country it's so much less, that risk is so much less. Like, if you know the country road as well, if you know that road, then you will be absolutely perfect. I know there is a driveway on the right side right here because there's a winery down there. There's another one here because there's a house. 
around this corner there's two or three that just come up the side. As you come into this town coming up there's um, uh, a winery up on that hill so you've got a, a, a driveway coming through there. But in the city like, see, in, in the country sorry, I can think like a K up the road where all the driveways and that are. In, 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 the, in the city they're just there. Um, and also, people that drive in the uh, in the country are normally not as aggressive because you don't need to be picking spots. Oh, that's kind of far. You don't need to be like picking like a spot of the lane in the road because you're just in that lane and that's the lane you're in. So that's that interest that winery I'm talking about. But um, so like. There's a lot less to worry about. You can just enjoy the road. Instead of having to, you know, anticipate what people are going to do, like... It's so less stressful. Like, don't get me wrong, riding through the city can be, can be quite fun. Um, I enjoy riding through the city when I'm not in a rush to get somewhere. If I'm just going for a ride through the city, Adelaide is that it's my closest city in South Australia. I don't I have no, no worry at all riding through the city. It's, as long as I don't have like a time I've got to be somewhere and I'm late. That's what really fucks me off. Like and that's when you start overthinking stuff and rushing and getting yourself in shit. What's going on here? Bit of a pingle. officer but um you now obviously that's, that's another thing like in the country there's so much more, less cops but um there, there's you know barely ever any uh, speed cameras that kind of stuff I don't know what's going on with my mic here because that just got in the spot or whatever. Uh, yeah there's there's just there's less cops but keep in mind, like, the cops around here, where I live, some of them can be assholes, to be honest. But, um, it, it's really not that bad, like, in the country world, well, there's really only, like, one road that leads to where you're going, from, like, that direction, so, and in the city, you can take fucking ten different fucking routes to get to one single place. So it's just, you just end up running around in circles in the city and you get lost so much easier in the city too. Yeah, the country, it's just, well, the country, like, the name says it all, the definition of country says it all, it's open and it's narrow, it's not narrow, it's not like, it's a lot freer, like, you don't feel like somebody's fucking watching you 24-7, you know, like, not in the down two years and just fucking... Give it a little. Like, you gotta be sensible as a country, don't get me wrong, because obviously you get wild animals that jump out across the road, kangaroos. You just get, you get birds flying in front of you and shit like that. Like, you get dirt on the road, uh, you, you know, roads aren't always as clean kind of thing in, in the country as they are in the city. Like, here's an example of riding in the country versus riding in the city. Do you reckon you could do this? Get away with it? Like, I'm fucking American. Y'all have a good day. Like, y'all stick to the speed limit. Y'all, y'all have fun riding through the city. And I'm just like, yo, fuck is all. I'm from the country south, south Australia, and I ride on the right hand side of the road if I want it. Okay, I, I wouldn't do that every day. That was just proving my point. But um. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can get away with more in the country, like, let's be honest. Um, you're not stuck in fucking slow traffic and having to weave through shit. And it's just so much more relaxing and you just get time to think to yourself. Instead of having to think about everybody else's life. How's their day? Are they going to pull in on me or are they actually going to bother and look for motorcycles? 
Jesus, I'm getting a sore throat from talking in this cold weather. I wonder if the pizza place is still open. Oh, pizza. Let's go straight through here. This is, uh... I live in the Clare Valley, if anybody knows where that is. Um, this is Clare. Quite a nice little town. It's pretty sedate, really, but, um... Oh, I like it. It's nice. Oh, they are still open. Fuck yeah. Might grab something to eat. Subway, no backers or Hungry Jacks or anything. Three pubs, <laughs> a bottle of post office, a couple of banks, food land of Woolies, a couple of chemists, you know, car dealerships, pretty general country town stuff. Um, I'm just doing a mania at the moment. It's a pretty big thing back here in Clare. Chucking them mateys. This car is going to think I'm oh, going completely away around the roundabout. Thought he was gonna pull out of me, yes, you know. Make up your fucking mind. Zoom, zoom. Alright, let's go get something to eat. Gromit on a comet is starving. Oh, I feel like I'm sick, but my nose is just so fucking clogged because it's cold. I didn't actually read the temperature sign when I came in here. My guess is probably, oh, uh, it's probably, at a guess, 10 degrees, uh, 10 degrees Celsius. Because we're in Australia, and we use the metric system. What car's that? Oh, it's that fucking S13. That's, oh, S13. It's S fucking 15, mate. Sylvia, Jap spec. Pulling the pedgies. The fuck's that on his face? Trying to do kill me. <clears throat> oh, fuck this shit, I'm hungry. <sighs> Come on. Alright, that's fuckers. Alright, let's go eat.